Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, then that means you selected the mermaid ring dish for your Trash Panda treasure box. So into this cup, I have mixed some very tiny little pieces of clay that I pinched off with some water. And I'm just gonna stir and stir and stir until it gets kind of this milky color. This is slip and it's gonna work like glue for clay. Then take your ball of clay and I know that I'm gonna use about half for my bowl, my dish, and half for the actual mermaid tail. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys a couple of different ways that you can form a bowl or a dish. The first is just take a ball, pinch your thumbs in, and start to work it out in kind of a hollowed out half circle. Pretty easy, I believe this is called a pinch pot. Um, that is one way that you can make a bowl or a dish. Second way is I'm going to roll this, always moving my hands slowly out as I'm rolling until I have a super long noodley piece. And the super long noodley piece can then be coiled up and this is how to make something that's called a coil pot. So you coil it around and around until you have the size um, dish that you want or bowl bottom and then I'm going to use a little bit of that slip and I'm going to attach another coil, another long noodle piece to start to build up some walls. And you just go around and around and around, keep adding a little bit of that slip in there to help it stick together. You can smooth out the coils afterwards if you don't like the look of those. You can add more slip um, to even those out and keep going around and around. But I think the way that I would like to do mine is I'm kind of going to make a pancake. So I'm going to use my fingers to make a flat disc. And I don't want it to be too thin because with clay, the thinner it is, the more brittle and breakable it is. So I'm going to try to keep it a little bit thick. And then I'm just going to turn up the back edge. I might want it a little, a little taller than that. There we go. And that's going to be my dish, and I'm going to have a mermaid tail kind of coming up out of it. Now I know for mermaids, they have scales on their tails, right? So um, a mermaid tail is kind of a triangle shape, right? Elongated triangle, a little wider at the bottom than at the top. Um, I'm going to just do kind of a quick triangle here so I can show you one way that we can get that scale pattern. In your box you have a popsicle stick. So if this were a mermaid tail that I was going to put on my bowl, I can use this, just kind of flattening and rocking it back and forth to make a scale pattern. And I'm kind of just doing every other kind of alternating back and forth. If you don't like the way that looks, this is another way that you can make that scale pattern. If you take tiny little balls of clay and you flatten them into tiny disks of clay and then you use that uh, popsicle stick or you can use a butter knife too and divide them in half, you're gonna end up with this little half moon shape and those can be overlapped also to make scales. So if you didn't want to actually put a mermaid tail on your dish, you just wanted to give the illusion of mermaid scales, this would be a really good way to do that. And I'm going to lay a line of them here. And then same kind of thing, you overlap every other. So the ends overlap with the middles. And that will give you sort of a scale pattern as well. Okay. So to actually make a mermaid tail shape, which is what I think I wanna do on my dish, I'm gonna start out with something that looks a little bit like a whale tail, because I think that that's kind of how a mermaid tail looks. So I'm gonna do two of this kind of teardrop triangle shape. And then I am going to use my slip to help them go together. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that glue and I'm gonna make it a little, a little rough where they're gonna go together and that will help those not come apart. And then I'm gonna smooth out the top so that you can't really see that it's two separate pieces. Okay, 
Now for the main part of the mermaid tail, like I said before, I think what we need is sort of a elongated triangle. And again, I'm gonna sort of rough up the clay and use some of that slip to help it all stay together. So when I join the two pieces, I'm gonna squish them together and then I'm gonna smooth it over a little bit. And as you can see, that's a little bit misshapen, but the beautiful thing about clay is I can keep on working with it until I get the shapes as smooth, as flat, in the way that I want them. And then I'm gonna lay that tail up against the back raised edge of my dish. So it looks like kind of a mermaid tail popping out. I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna put those scales in. I think I like the popsicle stick method. So that's the one I'm gonna do. So kind of rocking the stick back and forth a little bit to make those scales. And as I'm looking at this, I think I wanna add a front rim to my dish as well. So I'm gonna make kind of a, just a flat, kind of a fence piece and I'm gonna wrap it around. And I think I want it to be a little fancier than that. So I'm gonna take a noodle piece and I'm gonna make some uh, waves. Maybe I'll add some waves in between my waves. Really, this is your dish, so you should bake it however you want to. I like giving the illusion of water with my mermaid tail. Okay, now I'm gonna take this dish um, I'm going to make sure that everything is, is stuck together pretty good and then I'm going to let it dry overnight. So now that my dish is dry, this is the next morning, I'm going to take some of that paint and you're pretty much just painting right onto that dry clay. Um, we've got some lovely light blue that I like for kind of ocean all around my mermaid tail. And the clay takes the paint pretty good. Again, it's up to you if you wanna do one coat, two coats, just make sure it's dry before you put that second coat on. I'm gonna use purple for the tail. And then what I wanna do is go in with the silver. I'm gonna make sure it's kind of flat. And I feel like with mermaid t patterns, um, every couple of scales are silver, not every other, but for me, I just need a little bit of silver in there. So I'm gonna do that. Make, and then I think I'm going to do the end of the tail too because that's the part that we see so I would like it if that were silver also and again I'm just going to let this dry when it's finished I'll be able to take a look after it's all dry and see if I like it or if I want to repaint or touch up or make some more scales silver but that will be your dish Thank you guys for following along. I hope this was enjoyable for you. As you may have noticed when you went looking through your boxes, I don't have an order form for August. A couple of reasons for that. We're taking a little bit of a break, um, and that is because in September, we really hope we're gonna be going back to in-person programs, which means our anime club is gonna be coming back, Fandom Fridays. We're gonna be having a teen steam afternoon once a month. We're also gonna be having a crafter noon once a month. The good news is we're still gonna keep having subscription boxes, but I need some input from you guys on what type of things you would wanna see in there. So please fill out that little questionnaire that gives you some ideas of things that you could tell me that you hope you see more of in upcoming boxes, or you can use the blank space at the bottom to tell me if you had a perfect subscription box, what would be in it? That can be anything from the big craft, the little craft, or even the snacks. So let me know about those. You can drop them off at the library. You can text me a picture of it. And I will email out forms when they are ready for the September boxes. So have a good month of August, and I hope to see you all in September.